So thanks for joining. So today we're going to start upgrade process of the second component in the Citrix. So the service name called storefront. So first of all, the storefront server. So what are the steps we need to take care? Okay. If the installation media contains the new version of storefront software, run the installer on the machine containing the storefront server. In the graphical interface, choose the storefront from extended deployment section and from the command line. And if you want to run, this is the some package is there. Citrix storefront hyphen x64. So which is available on the Citrix virtual apps and the desktop installation media 64 folder. So you need to follow the steps. Understand? This is a graphical user interface. If you're going, you can follow this step. And if you're going with a command line interface, you can run this a particular application. Okay. So I'll show you both options, but I'll go with the graphical user interface. Before upgrading this process, okay, before upgrading this work, okay, so I'm going to I'm going to take care of a snapshot for backup to in case of any problem while installation upgradation, so I can revert the server to the previous state in a safe condition. So one is a snapshot, another one is a full backup. So we don't have any full backup services uh, currently in our environment. In real time environment, they will maintain separate uh, backup uh, services like a Veeam backup, IBM TOLE, mm, different, different type of backup services are using, they will use it. Okay, so let's connect to the Zen Center, okay, with the uh, Zen server. So, and uh, I can take a snapshot for the storefront services, then I would start. Okay. Yeah, successfully connected. Let's go to the server. So here is a storefront server. Now currently there is no snapshots available. So I'm taking snapshot before upgrade. Okay. Uh, this time I'm not taking a full memory. It's taking a more time. So I'm taking the power of snapshot. That's with only disk. Take a snapshot. Now this progress is going now. And go to in the general section. And you can see here the snapshot is ready now. The snapshot is ready now. So I can start upgrading it. So before upgrading the storefront services, first uh, you need to log into each and every site. Okay. Each and every Citrix storefront site is working or not. That's a very, very mandatory step. You need to do it. Okay. Example right now here for. Uh, storefront services are there. So that means uh, four storefronts and we can connect and you can check whether it's working or not. We can take a screenshot and uh, before upgrade and uh, you need to inform that if this is working condition right now. And after that, and this particular files are stored in the uh, specific location, then you need to take a backup in a separate network drive. So go to file explorer, this PC, C drive, inetpub, and WW root. So here, what are the Citrix sites are there? Here it will be showing. This you need to take a backup for safer condition. Next, when you are upgrading, <clears throat> so here, there are the servers are available, right? The, uh, if it is a servers are in a group server group condition, okay? And we had to remove the server from group. We had to remove server from the group. That means both servers will get removed. Okay? So here there is no option for setting the maintenance mode. 
okay setting the maintenance mode so in this case you can stop the network and you can insert the cd and you can do your changes okay because during the upgradation if user is connected to the server the server the page will be not open so to avoid that this particular storefront normally if you are the two storefront servers are configured in the group definitely we will use a load balancer in netscaler uh, in the netscaler there is a virtual services are there in that area we will be configuring the uh, this storefront servers information so one storefront server you can remove it whatever the upgradation is going now so that means the session will not connected here always connecting to the other server now you can do your upgrade okay so now whenever you are upgrading you please close this console but before closing the console i'll show you what is the storefront version it is it's a 1912-0040 version now i'm closing this console here so what are the precautions i already explained it next uh, go to the console and uh, you can change the iso cd here 9 2012 now you can open the file explorer this pc now it's successfully loaded you can directly install by clicking this by clicking this or else you can open the particular media and you can you can go to the specific file which is mentioned in the browser so this is a citrix storefront uh, hyphen x64 exe you can run so now in this server this is a storefront server right you can find out the store and upgrade available so click here because of it's automatically checking that is there any version is currently running already okay now you can click the storefront and we are upgrading it So now we're waiting for the console will be open here, right? You can see here, this is the screen. And before upgrading, I'll show you, open this folder and there's the softwares are available under x86, okay, 64. And the Citrix storefront, okay? You can open here. This is a Citrix storefront x86.4. Even you can run this file with the command line. So how, I'll show you. Normally, we can open the CMD with the admin rights, okay? Command prompt, we will be open with the admin rights, okay? Suppose CPX admin, it has a full privileges. We can provide the administrator. After that, after that, okay? We are directly running this file like this. Okay. Like this, we can run. So both are same. Both are same. So just I'm showing you how it is installing. Okay. Either open the command prompt and you can drag and you can install. The same console will come. 
and uh, without also same same screen no changes at all now select accept the terms and conditions and click on next and now this is the components citrix storefront 1912 will be upgrading to this version so now click on to install this will take some time for upgrading okay so please wait see guys uh, the store front is successfully upgraded you can finish here it is asking for reboot let them reboot and we can check that Now can open the storefront console and we can check the version.
we can check here help and version is now it is showing is 1912 okay so the version is upgraded to 2000.14 okay so now successfully the storefront is upgraded so i told you now right don't expect every service is the same component in the citrix okay right only delivery controller version is 2012 and video version is 2012 the many components have that different different versions will be there okay that you need to address so do you have any other questions uh, for the storefront upgradation so once it is done you can go for other server also you can upgrade the same same process during the time first we need to check that what are the upgraded server so then you have to bring it to online in the Netscaler and the other server you have to make it disable and you can upgrade. So before upgrade, you know, right? So take a snapshot and full backup and copy the storefront content and you can do that. Mostly it is not needed for second server. Automatically one server will be propagating the changes to other server. In case of safe side, you can take the backup. I hope everyone is clear, right? Thank you. Thank you.